So hi, we're here at the Canonical. Hi, who are hi. you? I'm Kevin Gunn. I'm director of engineering. Uh, this is our new Ubuntu phone by Meiju. Nice. The Pro 5 is the model. Small tour through the OS. You have a launcher that comes in on the left. Where you can launch uh, applications. If you swipe in from the right, it'll give you all of your open applications. Uh, if you want to dismiss them, you just swipe up, swipe away. Uh, at the top, you have your indicator panel where you can access your uh, system configurations that you have uh, that you want to change. This particular application is called the Dash, and it's a collection of what we call scopes. Uh, each scope is kind of represented by a little button at the top there. Um, and you can just swipe through the scopes. Here's nearby. It'll tell you about events and restaurants and things like that. Here's the app scope. This, this contains everything that's installed on the device. It's our job. So they have the drivers. It's our job. And there's news. You can, you can actually customize this. So there's, uh, if you come up from the bottom, there's a list of scopes available. It'll show you which ones are favorited by the dark star on the right, and then empty stars down here indicate these are available. You can go look and investigate these and interact with them. And then if you enjoy them, and you, you think you want them to be a permanent part of your dash, you can just select the star, and that will add it to the, uh, to the dash. So it will, it will show up in a list of Scope. So you can personalize it and customize it for things that you're interested in. Nice. So you're working with uh, with Meizu, and uh, you have some other partners too, right? Yes. Uh, BQ is our other device manufacturer. And this week, uh, we've also launched a tablet product. It's uh, the BQ M10. So there's a tablet also. And uh, what are you showing over here? So this, this is... Uh, Mainly demonstrating okay, like, a feature that we that call convergence. Um, yeah. It's uh, we have a developer device, which is our uh, the Nexus 4. Um, so this is not something that we would sell. This is just what engineers use to develop the features. Um, so everything that you see here is actually running on the phone. So you have a full Ubuntu out of the this phone, which is a Nexus 4, it was like a previous uh, couple of generations back. And how is the performance here? Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's, a, it's, a, it's about a, you know, you consider the fact that the Nexus 4 is about a four-year-old, five-year-old device. Yeah. Um, you really, you know, for 90% for of what we do on computers, this is fine. You know, uh, if you were doing a lot of heavy artwork or something like that, that, that might not be the choice to run it on the phone. But for that is unique. all the other activities that you do, uh, it's fine. Everything that you just saw on the phone is actually here. Um, and and what kind of Andrew, uh, what uh, what kind of uh, Ubuntu is this? This is our next generation uh, desktop, basically. This is Unity 8, and we we like to think of it as it's just Ubuntu. It's not a desktop. It's not a phone. It's just Ubuntu. This, this is this this OS is going to be run not only on mobile phones, but on the desktop. There, there will be no difference. It's not two different stacks. It's literally one stack that is making adjustments based on screen size in the presence of you know a mouse and a keyboard. So with the latest phones, 2016 here, there's a USB Type-C, there's a Slimport, and uh, this is Slimport, right? This is a, this is using Slimport connection. To the HDMI uh, right here. Uh, so there's Slimport, there's MHL, there's USB Type-C, all this stuff, and Miric, uh, maybe some stuff like Miracast. Yeah, so there's lots of ways to get the phone out to a regular display. So you'll be part of that that, that, that game? Yes, absolutely. So we're, we're wanting more powerful, um, you know, obviously more powerful yeah. hardware than this Nexus 4 to drive this. This will be uh, really exciting for us. You'll see one thing here I'd like to point out, which is you know, two, two X apps which are found traditionally on the desktop on our uh, desktop distribution. Uh, we've got LibreOffice and we've got uh, Firefox, GIMP, uh, XChat, and GEdit. Um, all these yeah. we've made available so that you can truly use this as your, as your desktop device if you wanted to. Nice, so you can actually uh, uh, edit pictures. Yeah, so you can... Uh, yeah. You can create... Uh, 
all kinds of, there's, uh, there's basically a uh, GIMP, a full GIMP right here, and we can go out and check some other, like this, all, all the apps, everything open, you got some price, trusted review, Tom's Hardware, they think this is the best of Mobile World Congress. Yeah, and enable it. So this is the, I mean, at, at Canonical, you've been working in that direction for a while, but now it's like to the next level, or? Yeah, absolutely. So really the focus for this year in terms of our development is to turn this into our desktop so that we have, you know, the same code base running on all devices. So really looking forward to some crazy powerful phone having this. Yes, absolutely. All right, does, it, does Meizu not have a video out? Uh, Meizu's, uh, the, the Pro 5 hardware does not support uh, video out or display out. But here at the Mobile Oil Congress, you're talking with phone makers, right? Yes, absolutely. And you're talking with all kinds of people who can make this happen. Right, and, and we are, the BQM tablet actually does have uh, micro HD, so you can connect it. The same functionality that you see here, you can have on the BQ M10. The M10 is which one? Is the uh, tablet. Okay, let's go check it out. So over here is the that's the Ubuntu tablet. Right. So. So can you show it off a little bit? So there's yeah, a Bluetooth sure. and mouse keyboard. Right. You see the you see the same features um, as you saw on the phone, uh, as well as. Um, fact that you can take it and you can put it into uh, desktop mode so that same functionality that you saw over on the um, Nexus nice. 4 exists here so you can treat this just like a desktop so there's a there's a tablet mode and a desktop desktop mode it's like a, a what do you call it a mobile mode and desktop mode exactly you got it so and what's there's just two different UIs to the same Ubuntu base that's right all right. So, so this is uh, all this. So stuff. another another feature I'd like to show you too is um, something we call uh, side stage. I'll, I'll have to put it back into uh, to, to, to uh, tablet mode here, real quick. So when we put it into tablet mode, it just becomes a little bit more touch friendly. And you'll notice that this this particular app, this is the settings app. It popped up over here and kind of locked into this side. This is called side stage. Okay. And you can take this and you can drag it and put it into what we call main stage. And so if you want, that way you can have two applications running um, at the same time. So if you're if you're working on something here, maybe nice. you have a Twitter feed over here. You know. Can you can you resize it? It won't resize. It is a, it is a fixed size okay. that matches what developers typically target and create for on mobile phones. So right. it's kind of the perfect size. And we're enabling developers through our SDK to take advantage of this. They can they have the tools and ability to to to, to operate within either nice. uh, framework. What's the CPU in here? And this BQ tablet. The, this BQ tablet is a MediaTek chip. I'm not I'm not exactly yeah. sure. So MediaTek, you have MediaTek, you have Qualcomm support, you have, uh, uh, that's, I mean, you work, you want to work with everybody, right? Right, yeah. And uh, let's let's go quickly around. So the, at the Mobile Rock Congress, there's uh, stuff going on about uh, wireless networking. Uh, what are you doing with the drones? So this is our new, yeah. um, this is a, a, a technology that we're working on. It's taking our, our mobile OS, um, and shaving it down to a core. Uh, it's what we call Ubuntu core, and we have a technology that we call Snappy. So it's a way to deliver applications on top of that core. So Can you, can you show? Hi, so who are you? Uh, sure, uh, I'm Luke, I'm uh, one of the co-founder of uh, Uavia, and uh, we are using Ubuntu core to connect the drones to the internet, to the 4G network. So this is your drone? Yes, it's connected and to the 4G network, so we can simply uh, control it from anywhere in the world through a simple web application. So why do you, you why do you need uh, Ubuntu on a drone? What does it do? Well, Ubuntu is actually really good for us because it allows us to make developments really simply on the drones, and uh, it has a really good performance uh, as an OS uh, to develop application like we do on the drones. So you put the application on the drone? Yes, uh, we have actually a full computer here working uh, using Ubuntu Pro. What, uh, what computer is in here? Uh, this one is a Toradex, but we are 
uh, actually developing on several uh, computers. On the so world. Toradex. Toradex. Uh, it's yes. like a, a some module, a small module. With a, which one? Nvidia or is it ARM CPU? Uh, it's a Nymexis processor here on the. Freescale. Freescale, exactly. And yes. you run Ubuntu Core. Yes, Snappy Ubuntu Core. What is Snappy Ubuntu Core? So the Ubuntu Core, you can think of it as the OS that you just saw on the phone. It's it's the very same OS. The only difference is we've taken out a lot of the libraries um, off the top, right? So the core is exactly what it sounds like. It's all, the, it's the minimum that you need to develop an application on top of in order to run. Nice, How, and it's it's working great. Yes, what are you doing? it's uh, really, really working great. Actually, uh, in March, we did fly this drone that was in Paris from our hotel in San Francisco. So it was all in real time with a free video link and control link on telemetry data. Nice, so you're going to be in the billions of robots in the future? Is, yeah, it the, is that the plan? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. lots of work in that way, and then can yeah. we walk further? Sure. Yeah, thanks. So what's going on here? This, Virtual? Is, a, this is a demonstration of Ubuntu Core and in a home automation setting. So you're totally into the IoT? Exactly. So you're in robots and IoT? Right, here we go. Uh, so there's uh, Ubuntu running in the... Oh, uh, right. Okay, is it, so you know, it's... It's, it's, it's not in the lights, time. right? It's in the it's, in the tablet? Yeah, it's controlling. It's controlling from so, so, so the, uh, this right sensor here. here. Uh, it starts again. Yeah, so right here. So, sorry. sorry. Yeah, this is a this is a this is a 96 boards. Maybe it's a Qualcomm CPU. Yes, exactly. This is a Dragon Board 410. Right. And uh, 3D printing. So is a Ubuntu driving this? Yes. Also the core. Yes. So you're doing industrial, and uh, let's continue a little bit around here. This is a little bit more home automation. Yeah. IoT. Put into your apartment. And there's a smart lock. The smart lock, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, this here. is um, local voice recognition. So voice it's recognition. It's using Samsung's Arctic hardware. That's our IoT platform modules. This is a Samsung IoT module. Yes. So this is a dual core ARM, uh, octa core ARM. Yeah. And what what kind of ARM is it? ARM set. Is it ARM Cortex a, M? A Cortex. I'm, I'm not so familiar with it, but it's yeah. Cortex. So this is some at Arctic Cortex A7. Yeah. And you run Ubuntu on that? Yes, Snappy Ubuntu on that. Snappy Ubuntu. Where's the chip? So this is the module. Everything is embedded here. So we support Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Zigbee, even display, external display. We also have, uh, like it shows here, 512 RAM plus 4 gigabytes EMMC. The nice. processor running here is basically the same processor that powers up Samsung's smartwatch. It's also on the, the Gear S2. S2. Gear S2. S2, same processor. Exactly the same, this one exactly. or the octa-core? Uh, the, the, the processor itself. And if yeah. you go back? So the octa-core one is the one that powers up this Chromebook. The, the octa-core is in the Chromebook, but there's yeah. a Intel. No, 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 no. The processor is actually this one. Oh, ah, OK. A, yeah, the processor is But that's uh, Samsung's Exynos. Exynos processor. Ah, yeah, the Exynos 5422, right? Or 54. Uh, the, this one, five, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. So that's a that's a 32 bit ARM Cortex A15 and, and uh, A7 right here. Cool. Yep. So Samsung is ready for the IoT together with Canonical. So we are ready for the Canonical. All right, yes, is this going to ship how soon? How soon is it going to be product with this, with this module inside? So this one is already available for to purchase. So the board, Arctic 5 board, is already available for purchase this from the, DigiKey. That's a, digi, that's a development board, right? That's the development board and the module. How so, much it cost? So 100 US dollars. 100 US dollars for this one? For everything here. All yeah. right. So if you want to do IoT with uh, Samsung Attic, new CPU, uh, Ar Arctic, sorry. Arctic, All right, and the yeah. final product coming this year? So yeah, we're still considering we're in beta release right now, but uh, final product we will roll that out. Cool, soon. thank you. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, what are you showing here? Smart lock? Uh, sort of. We are a company called Smokey. Yeah. We won the four YFN awards yesterday. 
The, so that's the IoT uh, award for the best You're the best IoT yeah. in the world According right now. According to 4YFM, four years from now, right? So you're using the Samsung? Yes, we're using the same hardware uh, by our partners at Samsung, the Arctic 5. We're running Ubuntu Core there, and we allow people to rent anything using the Ethereum blockchain. It run anything using what? Anything using the Ethereum blockchain. It's uh, like Bitcoin. It's I, a blockchain, a decentralized... Are you doing a Bitcoin lock? It's Ethereum, it's even better. It's another cryptocurrency. So that's a, a blockchain stuff for, for IoT? Exactly. We are connecting the blockchain and the IoT. So someone can actually rent his apartment using yeah. the blockchain <laughs> and Ubuntu call. So people can come and pay with Bitcoin and exactly. go inside the with, apartment? With Ether, it's another cryptocurrency, but yes. yes. Ah, so you and Ether, that's, a, that's a, like an, an alternative. Yes, yes, exactly. A new thing that's happening, right? It's a new thing that has started, yes. And uh, what do you do there? I am the, the lead engineer for the project. Are you at Samsung? No, no actually, I'm at, uh, okay. at Slokit. Okay, right here. I'm not uh, Stefan Toal, I'm... Uh, okay. so I don't have my card here. So, Sorry. but is that your hardware or no? No. Uh, this can be any, any any smart lock, that's the point. All right. Any, uh, any Z-Wave or ZigBee-powered smart lock. Are you at the hacker conferences? Yes, yes. So you go to talk with hackers and you're doing a Bitcoin IoT future. Yes, we actually were all working in Ethereum before. We made the Ethereum platform. I was a core developer of Ethereum before uh, joining Slokit. Ethereum. Ethereum, yeah. yes. Yeah. This uh, other blockchain. It's like uh, the, f the famous... Uh, the people are trying to make an internet that's peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. Yes. Is it yes. like that? that? That's it. Yeah. Exactly. It's a decentralized uh, world, basically. Does well, it work? Yes, it works. I mean, it's going to work. But you, you, where, where is what stage are you? It's like a development right now, right? So Ethereum itself, as a network, is a, it, it's not a prototype. It's working. Yeah. Now, as for us, it's working. We are basically um, at the prototype stage for hardware. This is just a way we are using. The development board of Arctic, right? And we want to get, uh, get into whatever we don't need, make it much more sexy, make it nice, and ship it to uh, consumers. And how do you use Ubuntu? Uh, how, how does that work in this? We use Snappy Ubuntu as the operating system. And that enables you to do all this? Yes. yes. All right. So, how soon is it ready? How soon is it uh, released? Uh, <laughs> all this stuff? I would say a year. A year? I would say a year, yeah. We're still at the prototyping stage. But maybe you meet some people, they invest a lot of money, you get a lot of engineers working for you? Maybe, who knows? Maybe. You just got a price, so that's great. <laughs> yes. Cool. Okay, thanks a lot.